You finally got the antenna up on the tower and you're ready to install the clamp and wrap up your project. You pull a bolt out of the bag and insert it in the clamp and start to tighten up the nut when suddenly the nut freezes on the bolt. No amount of force will make it turn one way or the other. But why? Hey everyone, welcome back to the DX Engineering channel. My name is Michael, K-I-8-R, and today we're talking briefly about thread galling, why it happens, and how to keep it from happening. So, why did the nut freeze to the bolt? Well, first of all, what has happened is referred to as galling or cold welding. Galling is defined as a form of material wear during sliding in which macroscopic transfer of material is driven by adhesion. Materials such as stainless steel, aluminum, titanium, and other alloys have an oxide layer on the outside surface. When you look at the surface of these materials, they look smooth. However, at a microscopic level, they are anything but. You see, bolts are typically roll formed while nuts are cut formed. This means that the threads are different. Rolled threads tend to be much sharper and more defined than cut threads because of the burnishing when they are manufactured. The difference in manufacturing methods causes some resistance when the nut and bolt are threaded together. So, when a nut is screwed onto the bolt, there is friction which causes heat. Heat causes the material to deform. When a deformation from one part comes into contact with another, there is stress. Eventually, material begins to form a lump. As this happens, heat increases. As the lump continues to grow, the oxide layer is pushed out of the way, which allows the two pieces of metal to fuse together. The electrons from each part merge, causing the bolt and nut to get stuck permanently. It isn't that the parts melt. It's that they get close enough together and are at a high enough energy state that they form bonds and become a single part. Was something wrong with the hardware? The answer is no. What was wrong is the customer unintentionally misused it. So what's the best way to keep this from happening? The best solution is to apply a lubricant such as JetLube SS30, Permatex Anaseize, or Never Seize to the threads prior to installing the nut. Adding just a small amount of lubricant creates a barrier which reduces friction and will reduce or eliminate galling. Galling is an all too common occurrence that can easily be mitigated. By using the proper lubricant and not over torquing, you can avoid the frustration of having to cut or break a bolt. And no one wants to do that at 100 feet in the air. Ask me how I know. Thanks again for watching today. My name is Michael, K-I-8-R, and we'll catch you on the next one.